to a brand new podcast as always this is the oracle 19 and my name is mr greatness if you want to if you have your business and you want to put it on this platform you can email us at evolution of london at gmail.com and that's the same email if you want to make a free will offering via paypal all donations definitely it could be any of dollars 50 cents one dollar whatever you can afford as we expand worldwide evolution of london at gmail.com we have different links to other affiliates www.linktree.com forward slash evolution of london so you can support us that way. We have a Patreon channel, which we have videos that's not posted on YouTube. And digital artworking, we have consulting services as well. So that's www.patreon.com forward slash Evolution of London. Also, we're on Rumble. Rumble.com. Just type in the Oracle 19. So we have different, many different ways to show love and support. Same email, like I mentioned, evolutionofalunda at gmail.com for donations. I repeat it once, I repeat it twice through our PayPal account. Or you can shop online, tell what baby shopping mall, evolutionofalunda.com. We have men's, kids, ladies' clothes. Jeff, definitely check out that website. Perfume, cologne. Close to 20... Well, no, yeah. Right now, 20,000 products, literally. So you can shop online and ship directly to your house. No cap. <laughs> no cap. For, so from lots of stuff you will find and enjoy. So evolutionoflondon.com. Also, evolutionoflondon.org, O-R-G, for custom clothes, accessories, digital artwork as well. And finally, evolutionoflondon.store, S-T-O-R-E. You'll find games, DVDs, and more clothes. So you have many different ways to show love and support and shop. Actually shop and it ship directly to your house. Check out the company Royalty 9 International. They make homemade candles, 100% soy wax, 12 ounce jars, from scented to unscented. Now, the scented candles is from frankincense, myrrh, jasmine, rose, eucalyptus, just to name a few. So, if you want to place an order, email the company at royalty9international at gmail.com. You also will find them on social media Instagram and TikTok, Royalty 9 International as well. Luxury candles over 35 plus burning time. Very good quality. I have plenty myself, so you can't go wrong. Mr. Will, he's been a fitness consultant for over 15 years, so if you want to book a consultation, email him. Health Fitness Consultant 1 at gmail.com. That's health fitness consultant one at gmail.com and also support his merch www.wjaaccessories.com again that's www.wjaaccessories.com for custom clothes accessories and digital products as well DJ Panthro, he's an international DJ, so if you want him to, if you want a book for him to come to your venue, 
djpanthro519 at gmail.com. That's djpanthro, P-A-N-T-H-R-O, 519 at gmail.com. You find him on YouTube, DJ Panthro 519 so like, subscribe, and share to his platform, as well as his other platforms, Instagram and TikTok, DJ Panthro, and his bonus platform on TikTok, DJ, well, excuse me, The Real DJ Panthro, so that's The, D-A, The Real DJ Panthro on Tickety Talk. Music, as you listen to right now, Cheap Living Z channel on YouTube. He have a whole wide range of different beats. So once you go to his YouTube channel, you will see his other social media platforms. So like, subscribe, and share to Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. And continue training on YouTube is the Greatness 19 channel as we're approaching 800 shows to open up your third eye. And on the Greatness 19 page itself, you scroll down, you see Mr. Evolution of London. That's our health and wellness channel. So I need you guys to like, subscribe, and share. And make sure you hit the bell notification so you get new videos that will show on your laptop or phone. Again, the Greatness 19 channel, as well as Mr. Evolution of London. Like, subscribe, and share. Now, the Oracle 19 is on all major platforms. We're on iHeartRadio, Google, Apple, Spotify, Spotify for Podcasters, Amazon Music, just to name a few. So any information I haven't mentioned will be in the description box of the Oracle 19 podcast, the Greatness 19 channel, Mr. Evolution of London. Both of those are on YouTube, of course. Rumble.com, just type in the Oracle 19. And finally, www.theoracle19radio.com. All right, well, let's get right into it. As usual, desexualizing your brain can change your life. Desexualizing your brain can change your life. What do I mean by that? Let's stop being a perv. <laughs> I'm just in humor. You, with it's so much hypersexualization throughout the world. We see this on, on TV. Just so much to put in plain terms: sex, sex, sex. You see that. And you hear it, it's everywhere, it's in front of you. Uh, you see it on movies and commercials. Of course, porn. You, you see it in uh, people, how they dress. Everyone is half naked or showing basically the sil- silhouette of their buttocks, and especially females and their breasts. So when you wake up in the morning, it's sex, and then afternoon, sex, night, it's just, it's just hypersexualizing the human race. That's all we see. And we need to purge, meaning we just need to, well, well I use that word, purge our minds from just being overly sexualized. It's not about sex, sex, sex. I know some of you hyper-motivated pervs, and I'm just saying this in humor, that's all you think of, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Your nymphomaniacs. But you really, there's so many other things you really need to harness your mind because you're being bombarded pur- purposely to be overly sexualized. And it's not good for the brain. It's not good for your overall well being. It's nothing wrong with that within adults, of course. 
But it shouldn't be breakfast, lunch, and dinner because there's so many productive things that you need to do. If you only focus on that every day, all day, you won't be able to get anything productive. A lot of you men and women thinking about that all day, every day, you don't even bother elevating your mind, reading. Reading certain books to make you a better person, stimulating your mind in a positive way. You don't even, you, you're, too, you're so over-sexualized, you don't even work out to try to build your body, your, your mind. Because working out will help build your mind. Now, your physical as well. It relieves mental tension. There's so many benefits in terms of working out. But your focus, a lot of you individuals are focused on just being hypersexual, being hypersexual, and that's not, that's not healthy long term. And being hypersexual can burn you out mentally as you get older, meaning by the time you hit 40, or not even, 35. Mentally, you burnt out. And one of the biggest situations, and we all, most of us have been guilty of that, but you watching that adult films, you, that is nothing really positive about it. Have most of us been through the sands of life with that? I get it, absolutely. But you have to wean yourself from that, purge yourself from that. Because that's not going to help you long term, being a productive citizen on this planet Earth. That most likely will dumb you down. And this is why society, most of us humans, is so limited. Because we... We think about it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Men, you have to, you can't, that can't be the all be all. It don't help your well being, productivity on a daily basis. It stymies you, actually, limits you. And that's not a good thing. The time you take to focus on that, it can, you could be productive reading or learning how to make more money, how to be a better person. This is, this is, but it's put out there purposely like a drug to keep you in the fog state. And I'm speaking to men. If that's all you see all day and internalize, you won't be productive. It's another form of distraction. Government and slash powers that be, they put that purposely out there so you could be distracted. If they don't get you to, in terms of the sexual, over sexual, hyper sexualizing, you, they will offer you all different types of drugs. If you notice, two of the main things that is really out there plentiful. Plentiful. You can get it almost anywhere as a man. is sex and drugs. Liquor, you can add that on too. That's so plentiful. Prime example. And there's in any town, there's a downtown, there's disperse, the weed dispensaries. Like literally not one, not two. You could find literally about four or five on a block. And maybe in a, a half a mile radius, you have 10, maybe 10 weed spots. And then you have a couple of liquor stores. 
And then you see basically sex all around you. They make sure they put, they have the clothing, the style of clothing where women showing their bodies all the time, breakfast, lunch, and din dinner. So that's, you seeing sex in an indirect way in front of you. In the morning, noon, and night. You turn on the TV. You see kissing, hugging, more sex. And this is the donut commercial. Why it had to be sex with watching a donut commercial? Things like that. You cartoons. Kids already is on it. They know about kissing and hugging and, and everything else in between at a young age. Over-sexualizing the market. You see it in the commercials, you see it in the movies, you watch your local, local news, you find more sex, they push in indirectly or directly. So this is what your brain internalizes. So you need something to balance that out. Men. And then they add on same, same gender relationships and they push that heavy too. So you see a lot of that. So it's nonstop, nonstop. You can't wake up in the morning, you'll be bombarded by that all day long. So, and then you go on social media, can't forget that. You definitely see that all day long. Women prancing, showing their behinds, just over-sexualizing themselves all day long. And this men, it can hit the psyche. And a lot of us men, we get sucked into that and that's a part of our lives. That's only our life. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And therefore we be non-productive. The powers that be know how to get you. If they can't get you with sex, they get you with drugs. And, and one or two, you'll fall in the category. Most of us. 98% of us. They really want, to, they know the 98% is through, is done for, so they still working on the 2%. So you 2% of individuals that are not caught in the matrix try to step up your game and be a better you and try to keep away from that. And, and we can't forget also the club scene. Either way, they try to, the powers that be, try to get you in. So you have to be very careful, men. Now, ladies, it's the same principle. You have to guard yourself in terms of how you dress because how you dress will attract negativity, believe it or not. You might not think so. you thinking I can do whatever I want. It's their problem, not yours. But you are part of the problem. Wherever you dress and however you dress will can stimulate a man looking at you a certain way, saying something inappropriate, and you will say, well, that's not my fault. That's his fault. But you perpetuating the situation, believe it or not. Most of you is not going to go for that. You're thinking, oh, it's his fault. It's man's fault. I don't need to be accountable. I just need to be me and free. That's your choice. You have that will. But if you talk to inappropriately or whatever the case, just know that you've been warned. But also you have to guard yourself doing, watching the same thing as men. Internalizing. This is the way of the world nowadays. Everything is put out there to distract you. So you don't need to be that woman that you need to be. Productive. Nurturing to your family as well as yourself. Being the best you can be. This is what is put out there to distract you. 
Just know it. Just know it. Pay attention to the signs. That's the thing. We as human beings, but we don't tend to look at the negatives. Why is it put out there? Why sex is put out there for us? What is the purpose? What is the purpose of me being a better me? See, we're not going to get help from government or the powers that be to be the best they, best version of us. They might say that, but they don't want that. It's money involved when we, as human beings, over-sexualized, hyper-sexualized. It's money. Billions of dollars. <clears throat> Prime example, the porn industry. That's a multi, probably billion dollar industry. If the government was really interested, they would they will ban it. But they're not. So you have to guard yourself against that. So you don't internalize that. This is part this is part of the game. This game is cold. This game is cold. It's not nice. It's not about helping us as a a, a human race. There's so many pitfalls, so many distractions out here. So you won't be paying attention to the real things that you should be looking at. How to be a productive citizen, how to be a better you, how to have more discipline, controlling your desires, but having a whole uh, a hypersexual society makes you undisciplined as a man or woman. That's that's the nature of the game. It's distractions. Because if you as a human being are on point, being disciplined and not let your lower desires be get the best of you, you'd be able to make better decisions in life. We as human beings. You won't have babies around, as Cedric the Entertainer used to say, all willy-nilly. Won't mean that you won't have children all over the place. This men and women. You be more disciplined. But due to the fact we over-sexualize, we are wild. And we just out here. So you cannot be that type of person. There has to be structure, order, discipline. For us to be a better race of people or it, the outcome will be just like you see, see you see in modern day society the fall of the human race and I might talk about that on a later show a later we yeah, have a later show or the fall of the human race that'd be a nice one actually you can see it. It's not like you, like I'm not like I'm not knowing what I'm talking about. You, see, there's no structure, there's no discipline. This is why so people are so violent. They don't have no self control. One of many reasons why people are so violent: no self control. Mental illness kicks in more. Because you're too, so hyper, over hyper, or over sexualized. You just out of your mind, a lot of you individuals. Again, no structure, no order, no discipline. A few of you understand, men and women, you understand the nature of being disciplined and again this is only built for the many or built for the few not for the many
A lot of us is going to basically fall under the wayside. We're going to die out. And we already died out mentally. We're just walking dead. 98% of us. The 2% of us that is disciplined, we have to guard ourselves from the 98 and not fall in the traps of being overly sexualized as well. That's going to be for our mental survival. Most of you is not going to pay attention to this. It's just going to be over your heads. Or you're not even going to think about it. You're going to live your life. You're going to do what you're doing. You have that choice. You have that own... The beautiful thing about it, you have your, you have your own free will to be whoever you want to be. But just remember, there's a price you have to pay for having that mental... For being in that mental state of being overly sexualized. Different children, different parents, diseases, more trauma, basically destroying your lineage, destroying yourself, destroying the human race because you're part of it. You undisciplined, not structured, you destroying yourself in every which way. Slow death, slow mental death. But I know most of you won't get it. That's why I'm not going to be too long winded with this conversation because I can go on and on. But I just want to make this short and sweet or short to. Not my maybe usual 40, 50 minutes. Try to understand yourself. First and foremost, improve yourself. Not nobody else. Look in the mirror and find out what you need to do to be a better you. To be a productive you. To discipline yourself so you won't be hypersexualized, a hypersexual person. You be even keeled individual, balanced, structured. Thank you for listening.